Namaste. It's Jackie. We're here again to do a little yoga practice together. So take a moment to get yourself set up. If you have a yoga mat, you can set that out on the floor. And if you don't have a yoga mat, any place where you have room to lie down, maybe enough to space to stretch your arms up over your head. And we'll begin in just a moment. So you can um, close the door of the room that you're in, turn off your devices, take a little time for yourself to care for your body. So a little self-care time, which we all need right now. So we're going to begin today uh, standing on our feet. And you can uh, just start to give your body a little bit of a shake. You can shake your hands, shake your feet, shake off the day, shift the weight side to side, start to just get a sense of your body. And then standing with your feet comfortably wide, we're going to start to Notice our breath a little bit, and we're going to start with placing the hands right on the belly. Just take a couple of normal breaths. You might even let out a sigh to let your shoulders relax. You feel that movement in your belly. And then this time when you inhale, take your palms out to the side with the uh, palms up and feel your chest expand. And on the exhale, draw your hands back to your belly and hug in your belly. You want to get a little work in the abdominal area like you're zipping up the zipper on something a little snug. So inhale, hands open, chest expands and lifts. And exhale, hugging in your belly. One more like that, just getting a sense of your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Exhale, touch your belly. So continuing to think about the breath in your chest as you inhale, this time take your arms all the way up over your head and you're welcome to look up, even lean back slightly. And on the exhale, we'll lower the arms down by our sides, but we're gonna continue to focus on the abdomen drawing in here. So inhale your arms out to the side and up, feel the chest expand and lift. And exhale, letting the arms float down, pulling in the belly, softening the eyes. One more like that. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, arms float down, belly in. So this time, as your hands float up, let your heels lift up off of the floor. We call this moving mountain pose, and the legs may quiver a bit. And on the exhale, as your hands come down, we're going to lower the heels down. See if you can let your heels touch when your hands touch your legs. So the heels come down quite slowly. So again, inhale, lift your hands, lift your heels, a little quivering in the legs, and wake up the muscles a little bit. And the exhale to bring us down, belly in on the exhale. Good, do that again, inhale, arms float up. And this time we're gonna lower halfway down with the heels and the arms can come to shoulder height, belly draws in. And on the inhale, float back up. And then exhale all the way down to the floor, letting the heels touch when your hands touch. And then we're gonna do a little three breath sequence here. So please inhale both arms all the way up. And on the exhale, lower your heels halfway down and one arm halfway down, belly in. Inhale back up, lift your heels back up a little bit. Legs may be quivering. Exhale, one other arm halfway down, belly in. Inhale back up. Good. Exhale, both arms halfway down, heels halfway down. Inhale back up, big breath. Waking up our legs and then exhale all the way down. When you get all the way down, take a pause, take one breath here. Soften your shoulders. And we'll do that three breath sequence again. So inhale both arms and heels up. You might look up. It may challenge your balance to look up. Feel free to look down at the floor. Exhale, one arm halfway down. Maybe you choose the opposite arm first this time. And then inhale back up. Lift your heels, lift your eyes. Exhale, other arm halfway down. It's okay if you're wobbling around. Inhale back up. And both arms halfway down, belly in. And both arms back up. And all the way down on the exhale. Pause here, roll your shoulders, and then just shift the weight side to side. You may feel your legs warmed up a little bit and, and that extension in the spine. You might feel your back muscles here. 
So after that uh, back bending movement, we're going to do a forward fold. So we're going to do a half, we're going to call this a half salute. So on the inhale, we're going to take the arms out to the side and up. Big breath in here. Maybe lift your eyes. On the exhale, lower your arms down and bend your knees a little bit. Lean forward. Just place your hands on your lap like you're going to you know, have your hands on your lap. And inhale here. Lift your chest. On the exhale, bow down a little deeper. You might slide your hands down the sides of your legs. And then inhale. Sweep your arms out to the side. Come on all the way back up to standing. Arms all the way over your head. Exhale. Let your arms float down by your sides. And we'll do that again. So inhale, arms out to the side and up. We're moving with the breath. Slow movement, slow breath. Now exhale, bend your knees a bit. Let your hands come to your lap. And stay here with the knees bent. Inhale, lift your chest. Now exhale, go deeper. You might even let your head drop down here. And then sweep your arms out to the side. Come up with a long spine. Arms all the way up over your head. And exhale, hands down by your sides. One more like that. Inhale up, kind of waking up the spine. Exhale, bend your knees a bit. Bring your hands to your lap. Pause here on your inhale. Lift your chest. Pull your belly in as you bow down deep, whatever that is for you. And then inhale, arms out to the side. Push through your feet to come up to standing. And exhale, arms down. <clears throat> and then pause. You can do some shoulder circles and let your legs have a little shake. So we're going to come down to hands and knees for the next part. If you find it helpful to pad your knees, grab a blanket or a towel. I have a little blanket here. You could double up your yoga mat. Just get what you need. And come to all fours. So we're going to place the hands under the shoulders, the hips over the knees. So we'll call this tabletop position. We're stacking up all the joints. And on the inhale here, lift your chest. Feel the chest expand. On the exhale, pull your belly in. You might feel your back start to round. Fold back to child's pose. Let your elbows touch. Let your head bow. And then inhale back up to all fours. Lift your chest and eyes. And on the exhale, we start to pull the navel in. The back starts to round. The elbows touch down. This hip sink back any amount. And then gliding back up to tabletop on your inhale. And that again. Exhale. Back up on your inhale and then come all the way up to stand on your knees. And we're going to take a little bit like we did in standing, but when we're on our knees, the, the arch in the back is a little more. So we'll see how that feels. So on the inhale, we're going to take the arms forward and up. And you can lift your chest, lift your eyes. You feel like you can lean back a little bit if that's comfortable for you. And exhale. Arms come down, belly draws in. You can soften your eyes. And do that a couple of times. So inhale, reaching up. Feeling the front of the hips open up. Exhale down. Again, inhale up. Exhale, coming down. So we get to do this extension in the front of the sp front of the hips, the extension in the spine. So nice if we've been sitting too much at our desks or in our cars. So we're going to do a little movement where we're going to combine tabletop to child's pose with that lightning pose we just did. So please come to tabletop. On the inhale, lift your chest and your eyes. On the exhale, pull your navel in and round back to child's pose. And then inhale, glide back up to tabletop. Exhale, navel in, round back to child's pose. And what we're going to do here on the inhale is lengthen the arms, lift the chest, and come all the way up to stand on the knees. Lift your chest. And on the exhale, we're going to fold all the way back down to child's pose. Smoothly as you can. Inhale to tabletop. Lift your chest. Belly in as you exhale to child's pose. And then up to the sky. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your arms all the way up. All the way down to child's pose. Pull your belly in with as much control as you can. Come down. Inhale, tabletop, lift your chest. Navel in as you round back to child's pose. Let the elbows touch. 
And then lengthen your arms, lift your chest, rise all the way up. And one more round. Exhale smoothly back to child's pose. Inhale, tabletop, lift your chest. Belly in as you round back, exhale. And then all the way up to the sky, inhale. All the way down to child's pose. And pause, and you can rest your head on your hands. You can rock a little bit. Notice your breath here. Some people are a little more comfortable here on the elbows. That's fine too. If the hamstrings are a little tight, feel free to be on your elbows. And then please push up to all fours. And we're going to come to the downward facing dog position for a bit. So let your toes tuck under and on an exhale, push up to dog pose. And you can just pedal out your legs for a moment. Let one knee bend, let one leg extend. You may also enjoy bending both knees and really pushing down into the floor with your hands. And then we're going to go up and down between tabletop and this pose and downward dog. So when you inhale, please lower your knees to the floor, lift your chest and eyes. Great control here. Hug the belly in first and then push yourself back up to dog pose. Getting as long as you can. Do that again. Inhale, knees to the floor, lift your chest and eyes. Belly in first and then exhale back up. And we're going to do two more. And if you're feeling a little stronger today, when you inhale down, you can actually uh, hover over the floor. Don't touch your knees all the way down. Don't put weight on them. And then exhale, belly in as you push back up. If it's helpful for you to lower your knees all the way down, that's fine too. Inhale, hover or touch down with your knees. Exhale. And this time you can hold down dog. Again, you're welcome to pedal out your legs. And if you feel like you're ready to come down, come back down to child's pose. And then from wherever you are, we're going to push back up to standing. So if you're in downward dog, you can walk your feet. And if you were in child's pose, just push yourself up and stand back up. And we're going to move that padding out of the way. We're going to do a couple of movements in the warrior one stance. In this pose, we have the feet hip width apart. So I'm stacking up my heels right over my hip bones. So I'm going to step the right foot forward so that heel is in line with my right hip. I'm going to step the left foot back so that heel is in line with my left hip. And that back foot is turned out at an angle. And on the inhale, I'm going to bend that front knee. You want to make sure that knee is over your heel and you can decide how wide you want to have your feet here. On the exhale, we're going to touch the belly to give that, find that hugging in. And then like we did at the very beginning, we're going to inhale and bend the knees, let the arms float out to the side. So you feel the chest expand. You could even push your chest forward a little bit here. Exhale. So for the movement we're going to do in the pose today, we're going to let the back leg hand, your left hand, rest on your low back. We're going to bring the front hand to the chest. And on the inhale, as the front knee bends, we're going to sweep that right hand out to the side with the elbow bent and watch it. So you're going to turn your eyes, your head. On the exhale, extend the front leg, pull your belly in, bring your hand back to heart center, and then inhale, bend the knee, sweep that hand right. Belly in as you exhale back to the center. We'll do two more like that. So inhale, bend, and open. We're opening up the front of the chest, that shoulder. Exhale. That bend in the elbow will help a little deeper stretch in those uh, front of the chest. So do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale. So this time add your other hands. So you can bring both hands to the chest. And when you inhale, bend the knee. Let both hands sweep out. You can push your chest forward. You might lift your eyes. And on the exhale, pulling the belly in, come back to that neutral position. Inhale. Bend your knee, sweep your both hands out, lift your chest, lift your eyes. 
And when you exhale back in, you might alternate the way that you're stacking up your hands here. Do that again. Inhale, open. Exhale, touch. And the next one, we're going to hold the pose. So bend the knee, open both arms. Stay on your exhale. You might try to let the shoulders relax a little bit more. And you're welcome to just stay here in this kind of open handed position or lift your arms up higher like cactus arms or even extend your arms up over your head. Exhale in place. Remember to hug your belly in. Cultivate some strength in our legs while we hold the pose. Now, if this little back bend is bothering your back here, try just shifting your shoulders forward a little bit. It'll take some of that curve out of your back, maybe quite a bit more comfortable for you. When you get to the next exhale, you can bring your hands down. You might like doing a little downward dog here. That would be fine. Otherwise, you can step your feet together with me, come up to standing, give your legs a little shake, and then we'll swing, stepping the feet out about shoulder width apart. We're going to let the upper body have a little swing. So the head turns with the shoulders. You can even use your eyes, peek back at the floor behind you. Now, if you did come to downward dog, go ahead and make your way up to standing and swing for a little bit. You want to let the hands wrap around and tap the back around by your kidneys in the back. And then come to standing. So just mountain pose. Standing nice and tall. You might even turn the palms open so your shoulders are back, your head is back. And take a few breaths here to just check in and notice the two sides of the body after we did that sequence on one side. You might even close your eyes. What do you notice? How do you feel? And then open your eyes if you had them closed. And we'll do the sequence on the other side. So again, we'll keep the feet hip width apart. On this side, we're going to step the left foot forward right in front of the left hip. The right foot back, so it's over in line with the right hip. And again, thinking about our breath, a couple of test bends here. So inhale, bend your front knee. You want that knee over your heel. You can adjust the distance if you like. On the exhale, as you extend the leg, touch your belly. Remember that hugging in of the abdomen here. This one, we'll, we'll think about the breath. So inhale, bend the knee, let the hands float out. You feel the chest expand. Again, you're welcome to lean forward a little bit here. Exhale, and then we'll begin the sequence. So for this one, we'll have the back leg hand. That'll be your right hand on your low back. Front leg hand, left hand to the heart center. So on your inhale, bend your front knee, sweep your left arm out to the side and watch it with your eyes. Go where you can, don't hurt your shoulder. On the exhale, Bring it back in, touch your heart, straighten that front leg. Then the knee on the inhale, sweep that hand out. That, again, that bent elbow helps open up the front of the chest. Exhale, belly in. You know, sometimes I think about holding a tray in my hand. So something you want to offer. Exhale, belly in. One more like that. What are you noticing? Left shoulder, the neck. How's your balance? Exhale. Now this time, please add your other hand. And when we inhale and open, we're going to let both hands sweep out. You can push your chest forward. You can lift your eyes. Shoulder blades hugging onto your back. On the exhale, belly in as you bring your hands back in. Notice which way you're stacking up your hands. Inhale, open. Bend the front knee. Exhale, back. Try to stack up your hands the opposite way. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now this time we'll hold the pose. So a comfortable bend in your knee. Sweep your arms out. Feel the chest pushing forward. Your shoulder blades hugging down. And again, you're welcome to keep your hands here. You might lift them up like cactus arms. This is a really nice way to open up the front of the chest. Remember to hug your belly in on the exhale. You might lift the chest a little or lift your eyes a little on the inhale. Feeling your strong legs. Your smooth breath. When you get to your next exhale, go ahead and bring your arms down. Again, you could do a little downward dog here if you're a fan of that pose, or you can step your feet together with me and do a little swinging again. So if you're in downward dog, feel free to pedal out your legs. If you're swinging, 
You can let the arms just flop around, do a little tapping. Maybe make some silly sounds. If you did downward dog, come on up to standing. Get in a little swinging with us. All right, and then again, a moment to pause and notice. So come back to mountain pose. Stand tall. An opportunity to cultivate awareness, these interoceptive pauses. So you might close your eyes and notice what you feel in your body. The sensations on the two legs, the hips, maybe the quality of your breath. And then let your eyes open. We're going to do one more sequence in standing. It's going to, we're going to stand on one foot for this movement. And some people prefer to stand on the floor rather than the yoga mat because it's, the balance is a little better. You could also stand close to a wall or a chair. So the movement we're going to do is going to mimic walking. So I'm going to stand on my left foot. And on an inhale, I'm going to pick up my right foot like I'm taking a step. So as that foot go, lifts, I'm going to take the opposite arm back like I'm walking. On the exhale, I'm going to let that foot go back and the opposite arm forward. You could even tap those toes down in the back. Inhale. Looking at the floor will be helpful. <laughs> left arm back. Exhale. Here we're hugging in the belly. You might arm forward, tap your toes back there if you like. Now, you can keep doing it in that way, tapping the toes down. Or on the exhale, as you hug your belly in, you can take your leg back. And as the arm reaches forward, the upper body can start to lean forward a little bit. And then we'll come back to the center on the inhale. Leg lifts, arm goes back. We'll do two more on the exhale. And again, you're welcome to even come like into the warrior three position here with the chest way down. And then inhale as smoothly as you can back to the center. Feel free to stay with the smaller movement. Belly in as you exhale, eyes on the floor. You can grip the toes of your standing foot as well. One more inhale back to the center. And then put that foot down and shift the weight side to side. It may feel nice to give that left leg a little shake or even to just kind of jiggle things. Shake it all out. And just a breath to notice the two sides. And then we'll do the sequence on the other side. So your balance may be different on this side. We'll be standing on the right foot. Welcome to have a wall or something nearby. On the inhale, let the left foot lift and the right arm go back like you're walking. And start small. On the exhale, you can take the toes back and the arm forward. Hug the belly in here. Inhale, knee lifts, arm goes back. Looking at the floor, some focal point that's not moving. Exhale back. Going slowly, inhale. The higher you lift your knee here, the more challenging that is. Now this exhale, you might start to explore, maybe just leaning forward a little bit. And then inhale, bend the knee, let the chest lift, the arms sweep back like you're walking. We'll do two more, so if you want to come all the way forward with the chest and lift that leg like warrior three and then inhaling back up as smoothly as you can and then maybe one more exhale pulling in the belly that focal point and using your belly will help you a lot with the balance here don't fall over and then inhale back up to standing and go ahead and put that foot down give your feet a little shake so we're going to just shake everything out here. After all those movements, you're welcome to jiggle. You're welcome to swing a little bit again. Or I like this little bouncing technique. You lift your heels up and you let things kind of bounce on your heels. <sighs> okay. And we'll do another pause. But before we do it, we're going to lie down on the floor. So come to lie on your back. Get yourself situated here. You might pull your knees into your chest and massage your back a little bit. A little rocking, any movement that feels good. You might circle your ankles or shake your feet and hands here. And then let your feet come to the floor. Keep your knees bent. Let your 
uh, hands rest on your belly or on the floor, whatever's more comfortable for you. And some people like having the feet apart a little bit and the knees touching. Take a moment to notice now. How does it feel to lie on the floor? Where can you uh, soften or let go of tension maybe in your shoulders or your jaws? A sigh might help. And then we're going to do some gentle windshield wipers. This is a little twist for the hips. So if you uh, walk your feet out to the edges of your mat, on the exhale, let both knees go to one side. It doesn't matter how far. On the inhale, come back to the center. So if you have discomfort in your low back, um, things going on in your hips or SI joints, inhale, center. You might keep the movement rather small and try to keep your hips on the floor. If you like it to get this little back bend, inhale up the leg that's going toward the center. You're going to get a little arch in the back on that side. And if you like that, it's fine. You might also turn your head in the opposite direction of your knees. Inhale, center. Remember, we're still hugging in the belly on the exhale. Now you're welcome to keep going side to side with your breath, or this time I'm going to hold for one breath. So I'm going to exhale to one side, and on the inhale, just holding in place, on the exhale, holding, hugging in the belly, and then inhale back to the center. And we'll do that to the other side. So exhale to one side, hold in place on the inhale, hold on the exhale, hug the belly in, and inhale center. And if you're going side to side, the next time you come to the center, just hold. And we're going to walk the feet in so that they're hip width apart here. So the knees still bent, the feet hip width apart. And I like a yoga block for this pose. We're going to do a little bridge pose where we lift the hips up. Some people, if you have a yoga block, it's fine if you don't. Put, put that in between your legs, and it'll help you keep your legs in line. So starting here with an arm movement, we're going to inhale both arms up over your head. Back to the floor behind you if you can touch. And as the arms come down, a little engagement in the belly. Push your ribs, your low ribs, into the floor. Maybe hug the block if you have one there. Do your arms one more time. Inhale. See how that feels for your shoulders. Exhale down. Now the next time we're going to add the hips. If that was OK for your shoulders, do them both together. If it wasn't, just skip the shoulders, skip the arms. So inhale, hips or hips and arms up. Exhale all the way down. Let everything touch at the same time if you can. Inhale everything up. Exhale everything down. Now you're welcome to go up and down a couple more times, or maybe you'd like to lift and hold. Again, you can lift just your hips, or you can lift your hips and arms. And even if you're holding on the exhale, we're still trying to hug the belly in a bit. And on the inhale, try to feel your chest lift a bit. Exhale. Don't grip your mouth. Don't grip your toes. Inhale. So if you are um, ready to come down, let an exhale bring you down. If you want to stay a couple more breaths, that's fine. But if you've already come down, with me. You can take up that block out if you had one there, and then draw your knees into your chest again. And we're just going to rock. So you can rock any way you like. If you're still in bridge pose, please come down on an exhale. Draw your knees to your chest and circle your ankles, wiggle your toes. Some people like curling the chest up toward the knees for this part. So you might shake your hands, shake your feet. And one more little symmetrical movement before we come to lie down. So we're going to, on the inhale, just extend both legs up toward the ceiling. Stretch out the backs of the legs, push your heels up, spread your toes. On the exhale, just bend your knees. You might even pull your knees toward your belly here. And then try your legs and arms. So inhale your legs up and your arms up. 
toward the sky. Exhale, bend your knees, lower your arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend, lower your arms. One more like that. Inhale. Exhale, and then you can give your knees a hug and rock. That little movement is a nice way to prepare your body for seated meditation. So if you want to, if you're practicing that, you might do that a few times before you try to sit. Just helps wake up the backs of the legs and stretches the spine a bit. Go ahead and bring your feet to the floor and we'll, we'll rest again. So you can let your feet be wide and your knees touch. You can rest your hands on the floor or on your belly. And just breathe freely without any effort. And notice the places you're touching the floor and see if you can let go again in the shoulders or the jaws or the hips. Beginning to, to uh, shift toward the still part of our practice, toward the relaxation. So as we come into Shavasana, we want to take a little time to prepare to get the body supported so that it's comfortable. So this might be great. You might just stay here with your knees bent. You might uh, lie flat. For some people, that's comfortable. For many people, mm, it's not great to have the legs flat. So keeping the knees bent or putting some support, a rolled up blanket, a pillow, a cushion under the knees can be really helpful. So it's fine if you prefer to keep your knees bent or you want to put some support under the knees or, or maybe you're just a little chilly and you'd like to put some uh, blanket or extra clothing on top of you. So whatever you can do to get yourself as comfortable as possible. You might keep your hands on your belly or you might have the palms open. And we're going to take a couple of breaths with the sound ah to let go a bit. So please, wherever you are in your breath cycle, inhale. Say, ah. And do that again. Inhale. Ah. Now we're going to try to let the body rest for a bit. So let go. Give yourself permission to rest and be still. Maybe for the next five or 10 minutes, There's nothing to do but let your body rest. If you find it a little challenging to be still, to lie still, try um, staying for 12 breaths. It's a good tool, especially when you feel like you've got to get up and go do something. Try staying for 12 breaths. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be healthy. And may you be at ease. And may we all be happy. May we all be safe. May we all be healthy. And may we all live with ease. May we all live in peace. So again, I encourage you to rest. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.